Hey everyone, this is a new episode of Bench Test, and today we're taking a look at Orbo Run. This was given to us by the publisher, so thanks for this. Uh, this game is actually going to be released on September 5th on PC, on Steam, uh, but it's out now on uh, iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. And it, this is actually a really cool game. I've played it, uh, I played it for like an hour or two. It's actually really addicting, as you guys will see in a bit. Uh, it's uh, it's like um, it's like a if you combine Super Monkey Ball with like Portal's graphics, that's pretty much what this is. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's feature ass music. So yeah. good. I actually like the music too. It's it's really neat. But yeah, this has a single player and multiplayer mode. I'll actually show the multiplayer mode in a sec. Okay. I played it by myself. <laughs> oh. Uh, there's actually seven different worlds. You have access to I think one of them but I unlocked a few of them already, so uh, I'll show this one, and then I'll show off some of the other stuff, too. There's 15 levels in each world, so there's actually quite a bit to do. Yeah, this this one is a really basic level. Uh, in this video, also, I'm showing the entire first world, because it doesn't take too long. This is, like, the easiest one, obviously. But um, the goal of the game is to get to the end, but you want to collect these, like... I guess they're kind of like coins. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you get points for them, and then you get a star ranking based on how fast you beat the level and how many coins you picked up, and basically how many points you racked up. So that was actually the first level. <laughs> that, that was just really basic. But uh, each of these levels introduces like something new, so none of the levels are alike at all, which is neat because they're all unique. And uh, you can play this with a keyboard or a controller. I play with a controller. I I tried it with a keyboard, and it wasn't that easy <laughs> so with the controller is it are you using the d-pad or uh i use the analog stick just to move left and right that's really all you need to do okay. uh, the face buttons like actually one thing that's cool you, you'll see in a sec you can actually just push a button if you want to restart like if you fall off you just hit the button so you don't have to wait for like the game over or whatever screen to pop up okay yeah sometimes he'll get out of his ball mode actually it's pretty neat and he does that too. <laughs> and it jumps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I'm definitely seeing the monkey ball comparisons. Mm -hmm. I am seeing the port from, you know, you could tell right away it was a port too. Just how the layout is of the interface. Yeah. Actually, oh, this could be on phone. Yeah, uh, the phone version has been out, I think, since earlier this year, but the Steam one it is, it is just now ported to Steam. But uh, I think it's pretty comfortable with the controller. I mean, I could see this being pretty easy to use on, like, a phone. But the controller worked out really well. So I saw him walking. Yeah, I love the that. Yeah, that part was like, uh, for some reason, he just walks on that part. Oh, it was automated. Yeah, exactly. So this part, like, has parts of the stage. There, there's, like, gaps in between them. Yeah. It's a pretty relaxing game. It's like a arcade title. You can pretty much just pick up and play and just aim for high scores and stuff like that. Yeah. It's that actually pretty... bass. Yeah, I, I love the music. It's, it's really good. Very good action music. And uh, it, it's actually pretty difficult to get three stars. I wasn't really trying that much. I, I kind of tried in some stages, but in other stages I was like, eh. I feel like I'd be the same. I'm just like, yeah, just just go through the game. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the opposite. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I'd go for it. <laughs> Three stars in several levels like requires like, total perfection. Uh, actually, yep. I, you just got it. <laughs> yeah, that was a coincidence. Now I know in Super Monkey Ball, well, a few of them anyway, you can get the highest ranking just by getting all the bananas. I'm guessing. Well, yeah, don't catch me out. <laughs> that uh. <laughs> That key requires you to fly off there. It's not easy to get. Uh, what were you saying? Uh, I know that getting all the... Getting, well, pretty much the higher rankings in Super Monkey Ball, you had to get all the bananas on the course. It was Is that pretty much the same for getting all the coins on the courses? Or is it a combination of that plus your time as well? Yeah, it's a combination of the two. At, at least from what I've seen. Um, I've gotten the three-star ranking without grabbing all the coins, and I totally missed that speed boost, but you don't need it. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And this right here, that's actually like, 
this level, I think, was the first use of the portals. They pretty much just warp you to a different part of the level. Oh, those oh, warm. Okay, I see what they do now. It's actually pretty neat. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, and the coins are actually used for something in the game. I'll show it towards the end of the, huh. the demo here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, I got up to... I, I went through most of World 2, and I played a little bit of World 3. It, the difficulty is... It, you'll see a change in difficulty. Uh, this one here is probably one of the more confusing levels, because you have to yeah. go through Oops. a certain combination. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, okay, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. I was like, is it random, or do you have to take a certain path? And then the next... There's a very specific path you have to take. There's one, actually, that leads you to a room where you can get, like, one of those keys. I can't remember. I think the keys are just points, too. You get more points for getting those. Yeah, that was, like, 20,000 right there. This is oh, my gosh. This is disorienting. <laughs> yeah. This is the right one, though. I remember the, the center. Yeah, let me go to the left. Yeah, the first time through, that took me about five minutes to go through the whole level. But five minutes was like several attempts, because that level's pretty short. Yeah. And these things here, uh, I don't know what they're called, but you see them on the roads, like little signs with those. If you run into these, you actually restart the level. But if you hit them fast enough, if you if you don't hit them fast enough, you just kind of stop. But either way, it's not good to run into them. Hmm. I don't know, it's pretty easy though. Three stars. Oh, just kind of like jamming out right now. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, the music actually changes in each world too. Well, try to get that, huh? Yeah, that that key right here uh, that was very hard to get and get on back, uh, get back on the track. Oh, yep, yep. same with that one. Oh, yep, y'all see this? I know one of them. I uh, I don't get. I just kinda, like. Aww. <laughs> That yeah, he's just like, that's great. Yeah, I, there was another one there too, but that one requires you to go off the side. Like that. <laughs> yeah. I think at this point, I, I, think I was like, eh, I'll just try to get that first one. I think I ignore the rest of them though. Nope. Nope. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Eventually I do. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? I think he just restarted. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and he just that died. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh. Aww. Yeah, I love uh, any arcade games like this. If you just can just hit a button to restart instead of having to wait. Man, uh, on the controller, it was the Y button. I almost said the X button, but it's reversed on the Xbox controller. That's what I played this with. <clears throat> okay, I saw that big three. What was that about? Is that... Oh, that's like a countdown. Like, I just skipped it. Oh, uh, countdown to, I guess... Restart. Oh, uh, right. Like, um, if you were put back on the stage, it does a countdown so that you... You know, you're not caught off guard that you're starting. Oh, uh, right. But I, I just skipped that with uh, the restart button. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Ooh. <laughs> that one, you have to go right in the center. If you, I've actually gone around it, and it doesn't count. You have to go in the light. Ah. Uh, go to the light. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> that one you have to um you have to like go off the side a little bit so mm -hmm. that you gain some momentum the route yeah, like, like that. This one's actually a really short level, it just requires you to dodge all those hazards. Yeah. It seemed a little bit stressful. I was like, oh yeah. there's too yeah. much. <laughs> I think the only problem I could see with this is seeing upcoming objects depending on what angle you're coming at like if you're going up a slope it might be hard to see some obstacles i've only seen one instance of that problem but other yeah. than that this looks Ooh. Ooh, that, was nice. Ooh, that was nice yeah, yeah. that was intense but i, I see what you're saying <clears throat> i think that one if you don't get that power up you can just grab those other things oh, oh okay that's what i was curious i was like you overshot that <laughs> mm -hmm. but it was like the boost from it i got one star for that one. Oh. I think we're getting close to the end of World One here. But yeah, like I, I figured I'd sh just show all of World One and be a nice sample of the game. Yeah, this one is kind of disorienting. It's kind of neat that <laughs> they have a little bit of extra scenery too. Mm -hmm. I could see some things floating around. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. not just a blank, a void room. 
Yeah. Yeah. I do like. Uh, oh, my God. I know a lot of games, or like not even just games, but movies or anything like that. The futuristic stuff is like it's like white with neon blue. Yeah. Kind of thing. This game uses that. Okay, I can't. I kinda, actually, oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, I was gonna say it is kind of nice that it does look like this though, because otherwise it would be disoriented. And these things are moving. It yeah, looks I was about like. to say that. Yeah, this one, this one is actually the last one of World One, if I remember right. Hmm. Actually, pretty short. Oh, two stars. Okay. Yep. So, uh, I think you unlock this world only after only doing like a few of the levels. Um, I'm only. I'm not gonna show the whole thing. I just showed a couple levels here, just to show like the differences. But oh. yeah, the, the whole world is different colored now. So you don't have to necessarily get a certain ranking for each right. level previously? It's okay. like um, a challenge for yourself if you want to get three stars. As far as I know, it doesn't unlock anything, but you know, you can aim for high scores if you want to challenge yourself. Okay, I like that. Mm -hmm. this is level two. I think I only show level two and three in world two. Now, I notice this world is called puzzles. I'm guessing there are puzzle elements in this. You know, in the levels I went to, there weren't any puzzles. I think that might just be the name of the world, as confusing as that sounds. Duh. I played through like almost half of it. Yeah, close to half of it. I went up to level five. Oh, no, that was OK. I played through a third of it then. <laughs> Haste two. Haste harder. Okay, and I'm going to show off the multiplayer mode. I actually played this myself. One hand was on the controller, one was on the keyboard. Just <laughs> I, I just saw your mouse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I didn't know how to select it with uh, the controller. I was like, like, trying to hit the control stick, but it wasn't working. But uh, this also supports up to, I think it said four players there. Yep. So I think as long as you have... I think multiple players can be on a keyboard. Um, yeah. Probably. No, older games, I know you had to do that. Like, I remember um, I used to play Sonic R with some friends and we all four of us be cramped on one keyboard. Uh, actually, that reminds me. I played, uh, I don't know if you ever heard of Rampage. Do you guys remember that game? Yes. Yeah. I played that first played that on my uh, cousin's old computer and we were all cramped up on a keyboard. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. The coins Ooh. that you get, you can use them to buy new uh, skins for the main character. Uh, they actually are very expensive. I was only, after playing through it, I was only able to get the first one I'll buy it here. I'm just showing off all the colors. Wow. And they're, they're, they're just skins. Really <laughs> 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 they're just skins. They don't really change. Uh, at least the one I bought, it was just one. But this is what it looks like. It has like, a <laughs> face on it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. You unlocked what? me. All right. <laughs> a few of the others, like on the second row, they didn't look like they had a face, but the costume looked a little bit different. Yeah. Well, to me anyway. But, I mean, they might have different skills, but I haven't been able to unlock them yet. And he looks like Bumblebee there. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Like a little Bumblebee. He also looks kind of sad from his he, eyes. Yeah. He's just like, um, And he's scratching it. his head. I, I thought it was just because I wasn't doing well or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that's well, something else you can do. If you want to get more coins, you can actually follow the developers on those social networks. You get five coins each. All right, that, that's taken directly from the fort. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have one more question. I... Um... I noticed there was like a ghost on each side of the player. Is it like a cooperative multiplayer or just? Uh, I think it is because it it totaled up, it seemed to total up your points or something like that. I'm mm. not 100 percent sure though. Yeah. Oh, they carried over the skin. <laughs> yeah, it, the title screen shows whatever skin you picked. But uh, yeah, that was Orbo. On uh, what did you guys think of the game? It's something I would get actually. Just yeah, let's turn my brain off too. Simple. Yeah. Very fun. Very simple. I'd probably get it on Android actually. Okay. Yeah, it's um, available on Steam for. It's going to be five ninety nine at launch. Um, mm -hmm. It's a discounted price, but I think after that it's going to be not that expensive. And then on Android, it's I think two forty nine. It's it's like a cheaper price on Android if you want to mm -hmm. get that. What did you think, James? I liked it a lot actually. <laughs> it's a really it was, creative it was, game. Yeah, it's simple, but it's like, I don't know. It does look addictive. Mm -hmm. What version would you get if you decide to buy it? I don't know. Probably, <laughs> um, you said it's for iOS devices, right? Mm -hmm. So probably that. Cool.
I wonder if they use tilt controls, like the tilt, maybe. You know, I'm not sure. I mean, a, a lot of games like that, I know like Temple Run, I think you can use motion controls. I'm not 100% sure because I never mm-hmm. played it, but I thought I've read something like that. But, um, yeah, I mean, it could work like that. I could definitely see that working, just tilting to roll. Mm-hmm. So all you're doing is rolling. You don't have to jump or anything like that. Right. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching this episode. And if you want to check out the game, I'll put links to the game in the description. All right. See you next time, everybody. Bye. Bye. Later.